Hello everyone, welcome back to YouTube channel of DCC and IT Agatala. And today we are going to discuss problem divisible by of starters 103. If you haven't read the problem, I will explain you it once. So you have been given an integer n. It may or may not be divisible by 8. And you have to find another integer m such that uh, it's divisible by 8. And number of indexes where n and m are different should be minimum. So like if you have been given n as 29, uh, you can take m as either 24 or 32. But as you can see here, uh, they both are divisible by 8. But in 32, uh, 2 differs from 3 and 9 also differs from 2 here. So they both differs in two places, whereas 24 differ at only one place. So the answer will be this only. So you have to prepare such type of answer and you just have to output M. But, uh, but there's a catch. Uh, you, as you can see here, in input you will be given first of all the uh, length of number and then and after that number will be given. But in the input you can see that n can be up to 10 to the power 1000 so obviously you cannot take that into integer or long long or something so you have to take this entire thing into string only so thing is clear that uh, I will take my number n in form of string and how will I check the divisible if the number is divisible by 8 or not uh, so first of all how, how I will approach the number how I will approach the question if I have been given n if I have been given n then obviously my answer will be if it's divisible by 8 then I will just print the entire string same to same uh, or if or else if it's not divisible by 8 I will print the number next number which is divisible by 8 or previous number which is divisible by 8 from that n so that's basically it but how will you check whether this entire huge number is divisible by 8 or not if you can't just store it in long log or integer. So what I did was I just googled it up. I checked the divisibility of 8 and what I found was if the last three number of any number is divisible by 8 then the entire number is divisible by 8. Like if 10 I want to check if 1044 is divisible by 8 or not. I just need to check the last three number so I can either make it uh, 1040 or I can make it uh, 1144 yeah so 40 is divisible by it also 144 is divisible by it so uh, this these are the valid answers and they both lie uh, only differs in one place only like here for and this one place and if we consider this and this one so only it will differ in only one and zero so basically at one place only so they both are correct answer so after you understood this uh, this problem is basically now an implementation problem so the keynote was uh, if last the three digits are divisible by it then entire number is divisible by it. so that's basically it so how will you implement this problem so uh, let's make three cases okay so if n is equal to 1 that means uh, either they can supply any number from 1 to 9 so I just I will just directly print it because that will be the only answer right any other cannot cannot be there uh, so yeah, that is basically for n is equal to 1. Now what if my string length is greater than uh, greater than or equal to 3. Let's just check for that. After that we will check for 2. So if my string length is greater than or equal to 3. Like this one. So what I will do is I will just store this entire thing in a string s. Uh, and, and then I will make another string s. I will make another string s1 where I will only store last three digits only last three digits okay so five seven six 
and then I will convert this string into a number by using s2 long long I can use this s2 long long number to convert it into a number to any string into a long long so 576 string will be converted into 576 long long so this is a number now and after that what I can do is I can just uh, check if my num is if num is divisible by 8 uh, then just then just print entire this print entire string or what if it's not divisible by it then what are the options you are left with so see I have left with two options as I told you earlier either you will take uh, the number which is divisible by 8 which comes after that n or you have to take the number which is before that n but how will you choose it so uh, let's take an example of let's take example of 29 again so uh, if my num is like 29 or something if my num is 29 so what I will do I will check what is remainder first of all if I divide by 8 so my remainder will be 29% 8 which is what like uh, 5 which is 5 so I have two answers basically my answer one will be I will just erase the remainder from 29 so I will get the number which is properly divisible by it so I can just do 29 minus 5 which is basically uh, 24 and what I did here was num minus uh, remainder or my another answer could be uh, the number which is after that and divisible by it so like what I will do is add 8 to it and then delete the remainder so I will get here 32 yeah I will get here 32 now this is the valid answer in case of 29 because this 32 will differs at two places so how will I decide which one to take so basically you just have to check the last digit only so let's check how to check that so if you have been given as 29 what is how will you check the last digit of it you just take percent and you it will return 9 to you now if 9 minus if 9 minus remainder is still greater than 0 if 9 minus remainder is still greater than 0 like observe here if 9 minus the remainder is still greater than 0 then I will prefer answer 1 only because only one digit will be changed or else if it's less than 0 then I will take the answer 2 uh, I hope it's clear and that's basically it and there's one more case there's one more case you have to look at like we consider here we consider here uh, as last 3 digit right in s1 we stored last digit now what if it is zero now what if it is zero uh, if you convert that to number then instead of 076 it will be only 76 right so at that time you have to uh, take care i will show that to you in implementation part so now let's jump into implementation part so i took n and my number in string s and as I told you earlier, if n is equal to 1, just print 8 and that's the answer, just return 0. And or else, if, if it's great, uh, not 1, then we will check whether it's greater than or equal to 3 or it's 2. Now, my what my string SSL will store is uh, basically this, what S1 stores, uh, last, three, last, uh, last 3 characters, string of last 3 characters. So I did this in this way, just substring of s starting from n minus third position to three and length three. So this will store last three. SSS will store last three. Or else, if n is equal to two, what you have to do is just uh, if length is equal to two, that means my string is also of length two. Just store it uh, as a number. So I did string to long long and stored it as a number. And I did the following operation. Uh, check whether uh, it's divisible by it. If it's divisible by it, just then directly print the number, or else this operation where I did ans one and ans two, just basically this one. 
if num percent n is greater than a remainder just uh, delete that one just take the previous number or else take the further number and then just return in case of 2 now coming back to uh, when n is equal greater than equal to 3 now remember when i took uh, last three uh, last three character as a string now i will convert them into a number so my last three uh, characters are number now so i will check if those three are divisible by 8 that means my entire number is divisible by 8 so i will have i have to do nothing i will just print the string and return the answer if it's not then again i will do this one operation ans1 and ans2 i will check uh, if it's better to take the previous number which is divisible by it or the latter number which is divisible by it and i will modify the num as well i will modify now now what i will have to do is uh, the string from 0th index to n minus 3rd index i have to print print it as it is so i will store it in this one uh, four times s so from 0 to n minus 3 i will store the string as it is in sssss now i have to add this base i have to add this now at the end right but as i told you there was a s case h case in case of 076 i cannot add 76 because 076 is of length 3 and 76 is of length 2 so i have to push back 0 here so i will just reverse this i will convert 76 to 67 and then i will push back 0 until the length of s1 and num is not equal so i did the same thing i first reversed it and while my size of that base I, of that number is not equal to sss dot size and my sss was this last three whose size is three only so just push back zero up till then and then reverse it again and add it into uh, four times s and yeah just uh, return the answer so that's that was pretty much it we just have to uh, think about this when divisibility test of it and this thing uh, either we have to take previous number which is divisible by it or the number which comes later and it's divisible by it and you just have to take care when uh, cases like this when there is zero so yeah that's pretty much it hope you understand the answer if there's any doubt you can comment down in the comment section thank you